Good evening, teacher. Hello, Melissa. Good evening. Hello, Wilder. Good evening, Roxana. Hello, Emma. Good evening, Eva. Hi there. Don't forget to activate your camera, right? It's important. Hello, Rosa. Jacqueline. Okay, so Carla, Carla Olivia. Hello, Carla. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jenny. Hello, teacher. Hello, good, good evening. evening. Good evening. Hello, Roxana. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I can see Carla also. Emma. Wilder. Swanee. Okay, welcome. So we're going to start in a minute. Let's wait a little bit for the rest. Okay, give me a second, please. We're gonna we're gonna wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar okay. un minutito que todos se logren conectar. Okay. Okay, people, we are going to start in a minute. I have 13 people connecting. Uh, you are 20, give me a second, I will check this thing. Okay, as far as I remember, you are like 28 people, right? Hello, hello. Do you listen to me, people? Yes. Okay, very good. Now we'll check list of things. Now, Abigail. Abigail, are you there? Uh, yes, yes, I am here. Right. I'm sorry. Okay, Abigail is there. Uh, Ana Maria? I'm here. Good. Uh, Ana Maria Emily? I am here. Okay. David? Carlos David? Daniela Alejandra? Present. Diana Sarai. Diana Sarai. Emma. Present, teacher. Eva Margarita. Present, teacher. Gabriela Lisset. Gabriela. Jacqueline Janet.
Joana Guadalupe. Joana. Carla Olivia. Present teacher. Thank you. Melissa Giselle. Present teacher. Raul Alexander. Present teacher. Mm, okay, Raul. Rosa Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Rosa. Eh, Rosa Feliciana. Roxana Yanira. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ruth Noemi. Present. Taira Abigail. Present, teacher. Sara Vanessa. Sara Vanessa. Silvia Noemi. Present teacher. Stephanie Carolina. Present teacher. Swanee. I'm here. Okay, Wilder. Present teacher. Uh, William Vladimir. William Alfredo. Present teacher. Jansi Stephanie. And Jenny Guadalupe. Present. Okay. Thank you. So we're going to start quickly as possible. Hope you are okay. Hope you have had a great time. And hopefully we're going to learn a lot tonight. Well, in order to start, I will, share, I will go directly to the part that really marks we need to study tonight. Okay, be aware and be okay. Pay pay special attention to vocabulary, to new expressions. Okay, to get general idea about sicknesses and medication because we started with medication yesterday. Alex, Mister Bellos says teacher. Give me a second. There are some people in the chat. You will be a listener tonight, Alex. All right. I got it. Look. So be ready with this info, okay? William says press, okay, mm -hmm. William. Okay, guys, what is the topic for tonight? Medicine and sickness. sickness. Medicine, and, Medicine sickness. and sickness. Now, before starting, I will let you know what's the process we're going to go through tonight. Quiero que sepan que no, no voy a ir deteniendo como las slides, las diapositivas. Um, ¿Por qué? Eh, es un poquito larga, pero yo lo que necesito es que nos familiaricemos con la temática, vocabulario, etc. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, now pay attention to this. Now, oh, well. So be ready, please. How do you say this in English? Uh, what, what's it doing? What's it doing? Have you done this? What are these? Hey, what are these in English? Acupuntura? Uh, in, in English, I don't know. Ah, we're going to see, right? <laughs> because yesterday we started talking about health. Yeah. He's getting, a, he's getting acupuncture. Acupuncture. He's acupuncture. getting acupuncture. Have you done this? No, I haven't. I'm too scared. No, I'm having. I'm too scared. What are these? How do you say agujas in English? Okay. Yeah. Needles. Needles. Yeah. Needles. Yeah, needles. He, he's sticking needles in him. 
Now, look at this. Look at it. Look at this this image. We're gonna study some more vocabulary about antibiotics. Antibiotics. Yeah, uh, we have. We are gonna see the meaning of certain uh, images here, such as the first one, for example. We say germs or bacteria. Versus bacteria. Germs and bacteria. Germs. Chemical structure. Chemical, chemical structure. structure. Yeah, don't say chemical. No, it's chemical. Chemical. Chemical, chemical structure. Chemical, chemical, chemical structure. structure. Chemical chemical structure. structure. Uh, Antibiotics. 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 Pills. Pills. Antibiotics. Pills. Pills. Antibiotics. Bandage. 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 Or plaster. 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 Okay, once again. Uh -huh. Germ. Germ. Bacteria. Bacteria. Chemical structure. Chemical structure. Chemical structure. Antibiotics. Anti or antibiotics? Antibiotics. 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 Pills. 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 Plaster. Plaster. Very good. So now, hope you are just getting familiarized with this. Later, you can study. Antibiotics help the body to by killing the bacteria. All right. Aha, uh -huh, we have more vocabulary over here. Look at it. Hey, what's it doing to his hand? What's that what thing? What is it? Band. Uh, band. Yeah, it's a band, right? So, but he is wrapping up his wrist or hand. He's wrapping up his wrist or hand. Wrist, this is the wrist, right? Parts of the body, right? This is the wrist. And this is the hand. Okay. Now, something else. What's that one thing? It's a bandage. It's not a band A, but it's a bandage. Okay? Bandage. Bandage. So you can repeat it, please. Bandage. 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 Okay. Bandage. We have more. What's a lady doing? What's a lady doing? What's she doing? What are her symptoms? Symptoms. Blue. She's blowing her nose. What's she doing? She's blowing her nose. She's blowing her nose. She's blowing her nose. What are, they, what are her symptoms? Maybe she Blue. has a runny nose. What are her symptoms? Maybe she has a runny nose. Maybe she has a runny nose. Or Maybe she has Maybe a, she stuffy has a, stuffy a stuffy nose. Okay, very good. <laughs> what is this? What is it? Let me see. Okay, Diana Sarai, thank you. Okay, Diana, don't worry. Just try to get concentrated with the class. So we have question, question on here. What's it doing? Why is this good for you? Look. Well, it says he's doing 
Capping therapy. Why is this good for you? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can release stress, but actually, actually, I don't know what's the benefit about uh, having a cap therapy. Happy therapy. Do you think it's good for you? Yes or no? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's a different way, right? Say, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't, I don't sure. know. I'm not sure. How do you say this in English? Band aid. That's a band aid. All right. What's that thing called again? When do you need it? When do you need to put it on? It's a band aid. Or? It's a plaster. When do you need to put it on? Well, you need you need to put it on when you get a cup. When you get a cup. You need to put it on when you get hurt. You need to put it on when you get injured. Okay, when do you need to put it on? I need to put I it need on to put when, when I, I get, get a cut. I get a cut. Uh -huh. When I, I get a cut, I get a cut. I get injured. Injured. Very good. So that's a band aid or plaster. Uh, what's his occupation? A dentist. Ah, what's his job? Uh, do you mind going to see him? Do you like to go to the dentist? No. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, so we're going to see possible answers. Look, what's he wearing? What's he wearing? What's he wearing? Uh, he's, he's wearing, wearing this. Uh, he's wearing this. Glasses. He's wearing this. Glasses. Uh, oh, no, 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 let's see. That's going to be later. He's wearing this. Love. Ah, okay, so we're going to see that now. Take a look at it, please. I will try to continue. Look at it. Question number one. What's his job? Oh, well, uh, what's the, a dentist. What's it? He's a dentist. He's a dentist. Okay, tell he's me. A he's a dentist. What's his job? He's a dentist. He's a dentist. He's a dentist. He's a dentist. Do you mind going he's a to, to see him? Do you mind going to see him? Possible answer? No, I don't. It's fun. What's he wearing? What's he wearing? Ah, say, say pretty Google. No, they are not glass. They are Googles. Say pretty Google. Say pretty Google. What's he wearing? Say pretty Google. Okay. What's he wearing? Mac. Mac. Ah. Mac. He's wearing a mask. mask. What's he Facebook. wearing? Gloves. Oh, ah, he's wearing gloves. Okay. Very good. How do you call this machine? Um, What's that machine hmm. called? What's that machine called? Uh, uh, in English? No. It's um. It's a what? It's a machine. It's a what? It's a blood pressure machine. 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 What does the doctor use it for? Um. Taking pressure. Take, or take the blood pressure. Pressure. Take the blood pressure. For measuring your body's blood pressure. Excellent. For measuring your body's blood pressure. Blood pressure. 
Measuring. Your body it's a is blood pressure machine. Pressure. It's a blood pressure machine. Okay, so we have some differences over here, right? It's because this is different from this. And this one is different from this. So you will see. Take a look at it, please. Liquid gear. Look at it, look at it. Now these are all fields. Caps. Capsule. Cap. Capsule. Capsule. Uh -huh. Gel cap. Gel cap. Tablet. Tablet. And that's it, right? So but I want you to be clear about it. Fields. Capsule. 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 Uh -huh. Gel cup. 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 Gel Don't worry, eh, Rosa. No se preocupen que recuérdense que eh, yo paso lista dos veces, ¿ok? Una vez al inicio y una vez al cierre. Now, let us, talk, let's, let us see the meaning of this. Now, what's that machine called? Uh, it's an old passion blood pressure machine. Old fashion. Blood pressure machine. Blood pressure machine. What does the doctor use it for? For measuring your body. Measuring your body. Measuring your body. In an old-fashioned way. In an old-fashioned way. What are some other ways to say doctor? Physician? Physician. Physician. Practitioner. Practitioner. Pediatrician. Pediatrician. Doctor for children. Now, how do you say this in English? Morete. What happened? What do you think he was doing? Mm. What will the breathe. doctor tell him? Breathe. 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 He, breathe. He got a breathe. Breathe. He got, he got a breathe. Got a breathe. Got a breathe. Now, what do you think he was doing? Okay. What do you think he was doing? So the doctor. Yeah, but what do you think he was doing? Let, let's see. Maybe he was playing in fell. Ah. Maybe. Maybe he was playing in fell. Maybe he was playing in fell. Maybe go home is not a big deal. Maybe he go home is not a big deal. That is the expression a doctor may tell him. Maybe it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. How do you say this in English? What's he wearing? Have you ever worn one of this? Uh, he's wearing a? A cast. He's wearing a cast. Have you ever worn one of this? Yes or no? When, when the bones is broke? When the bones get broken? It, when the bones is broken. You start like using a cast. Have you ever worn one of these? Why? Yes, I have. Because I broke my, my arm. arm. Cast. Look at the next one. A doctor which focuses on a particular part of the body is a? 
orthopedic. A doctor which focuses only uh, on a particular part of the body is a the specialist. Hey, that's a specialist. Very good. Have you gone to see one before? Yes, I have. I've seen a hand specialist. A specialist, hand specialist. Now, look at the lady. Mm -hmm. What's the lady doing? Mm -hmm. What what do, you, what do you think she's going to she's gonna do? How do you say now, says? Now, no, Okay, no. Sure. Ah, to say throw up. Throw up. Throw up. Throw up. Throw up. Throw up. Puke. What does it mean, puke? It's the same. Okay. Vomit. Be sick. Be sick. Be sick. For me, it's not that bad. Do you hate to throw up? Or it's not that bad for me. It's not that bad. That's what this person said. Look, do you always go to the same doctor or do you like to try a different doctor? Mm. I prefer the same doctor. I you prefer to see the same doctor. Okay, going to the same doctor or uh, try to uh, try different doctor. I usually go to the same doctor unless I need a second opinion. Yeah, yeah. so you go to, uh, to visit a second uh, doctor because you need to have a uh, further information, and of course, his or her opinion is important. What's their occupation? Nurse. 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 What are their jobs? Nurse. What are they waiting, 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 waiting? Well, what are their jobs? They are? Nurse. Nurses. Nurses. What are they wearing? Wearing the blue scrubs. Blue scrubs. Okay, now you got the blue scrubs. Blue scrubs. Okay, now let's continue because I have a lot of vocabulary here. Okay, Elizabeth, now pay attention. Listen carefully. Uh, I want you to get no, Roxana, I'm sorry, but I haven't done it yet. Listen, uh, I I ask my students, my uh, the participants, to get a, a um uh, a dictionary in case you need. Right? You can use the web. You can use internet to get the meaning of some some words. If you want to see them in Spanish, you can use the web. You can use that web. Uh, no, Roxana. No, Roxana. So, but you can see the video once again and see the information here. Okay, what are they wearing? Uh, I mean, what are they wearing? They are wearing scrubs. Wearing blue scrubs. How do you say this in English? Nothing. Okay. What's the nurse doing to the patient? Patient. What's the Rest. nurse doing to the patient? Do shots, brother. Do you? Look, the nurse is giving the patient a shot or an injection. Do shots? Yes, I do shots. Bother? Okay, do shots bother you? Yes, I do. Shots don't hurt me. 
Okay, so we have the meaning. Okay, how do you say this in English? Uh huh. Gringy. 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 Okay, syringe. Uh huh. This one. Scrub. It's scrub. 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 This one. Noodle. 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 Perfect. Noodle. Now, how do you say this in English? What's the doctor handy you? Receipt. Uh -huh. Receipt. America. How do you say Receipt America in English? Receipt or recite. Uh, no, but recipe. Uh, American. American prescription. A medical uh, prescription. A recipe is when you are going to cook something, right? Uh, okay. Where can you fill a prescription? You can fill it at a pharmacy. pharmacy. Now, are you prescribed to any medicine? Where do you fill your, your prescription? Now, the first question. Are you prescribed to any medicine? Yes, I'm prescribed to antibiotics right now. Where do you feel your prescription? My doctor fills them so I don't go to the farm. We're almost done. I think we're going to finish with this part. What's wrong with him? What should he do? He has a runny oh. nose. Runny nose. His nose is running. It's not. It's coming out of his nose. He should blow his nose. He ought to wipe his nose. He ought to wipe his nose. Yeah. And I think we're going to stop you doing that because I want you to work a little bit. Uh, now. In the platform, we have some vocabulary over here. Uh, vocabulary, yesterday we started about common medications, right? So we continue with the vocabulary today and look at uh, what we need to, to create over here. We're gonna see this video to talk about imperatives regarding to health models. Look and listen, listen and look. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup, don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so this is very simple, right? So we got like a imperative. Not so. Let me see. We have some imperatives. Let me see if it, if it is. And right. don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperative is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right-hand side of the chart, 
you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup. Don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion. In our discussion. Okay, now, uh, what is the topic over here? Pero imperative. Uh, imperative. imperative. So, in order to create imperative, the, you, the only thing you need to do is to start with a, with a verb. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Now, if you want to make it negative, you have it over here. Don't work. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Okay, so if we want to make it negative over here, how will we do it? Take a pill. Don't take a pill. Don't take a pill. Rest in bed. Don't rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't drink lots of juice. Okay. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. This is quite simple. This is very simple. We're going to see the next uh, video so that we can you can have an idea about an, an activity that you are going to work on today. Discussion forums. Okay. Okay, we're gonna see this uh, the other the second video, and over here I want you to pay special attention because you're gonna work in this uh, topic. Presten atención a estos ejemplos de cómo dar algunos consejos para mantenernos saludables, porque luego viene la actividad que le que les voy a asignar que busquen ustedes eh, algunos otros eh, consejos para mantenernos saludables. Presten atención. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 Simple Ways to Improve Your Health Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk, and cheese, have calcium. 10. Take a time out. 
a break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. All right. So we actually finished with this. What are we going to do, people? Now, time to create something. Vamos a, a crear algo, okay? Con toda la información que hemos eh, estudiado esta noche. Veamos. Por aquí está. Aquí está lo, lo que acaban de escuchar. Eso lo encuentran en la página 83. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que ustedes van a hacer? Aquí nos presentaron 10 maneras de podernos mantener saludables. Ustedes van a buscar 5 más. Pueden usar la web, pueden usar, eh, buscar en, en, en internet o pueden usar un traductor para eh, eh, decirnos lo que ustedes piensan al respecto. Vamos a, a invertir seis minutos, siete minutos máximo en esta actividad. ¿Okay? Ustedes pueden usar la red, um, cualquier eh, recurso que ustedes tengan a la mano para, para buscar esas frases. Pues hagan. Tienen seis minutos. Luego voy a regresar a preguntar um, a algunos qué es lo que encontraron en alguna página por ahí, ¿ok? Estamos claros? Yes. Ok, so you yes. have six minutes. Tienen seis minutos para trabajar en ellos. So whenever you get ready, let me know it, okay? So that we can start with the presentations. Uh, Alex, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Excellent. Go ahead, Alex. Always express your feelings. Play a sport regularly. Sleep regularly. Ask for help regularly. And think positive every day. Excellent, Alex. Can you read the first ones again? The first. Yeah. Always express your feelings. Always express your feelings. That's important, right? Excellent, Alex. Very good. Now, is there anybody else? What about the rest? Let us wait a little bit. Uh, Joanna. Uh, exercise as often as you can. Good. And the second one, uh, don't use produce toxic, for example, alcohol. Alcohol, or, good. And 
next one uh, get a no sleep get enough sleep um only that <laughs> just that very good thank you shuana anybody else anybody else in the group Time yes, to... teacher. Tell me, yes, please. Teacher. Tell me. Um... Don't smoke. Don't okay. drink alcohol. Uh -huh. Eat healthy. Um, practice meditation. Okay. Meditate about things. Okay, that's it, Roxana? Yes, that's okay. all. Okay, thank you. Let us listen to Sylvia. Okay, um, first, eat healthy food. Healthy food. Uh, sleep. Sleep. Um, family meeting. Okay. Have family meetings. Um, do exercise. Do exercise. How often? Uh, yes. How often? Every day? Yes. Every day, okay. Every day. Uh, reading. A read. Uh, listen music. Listen, listen to, to music. Uh, yeah, listen to music. And um, that's it. Thank you very much. Let's listen to Jenny. Jenny. Uh, eating healthy food, doing exercise daily, sleep for eight hours, taking the dog for a walk, and going for a walk or ride a bike. Going for a walk. Or ride a bike. Okay, remember that we are studying uh, the commands, right? Say, eat breakfast, drink a cup of water, go for a walk, stretch for uh, five minutes, do something to challenge your brain, floss your teeth, etc. right? Okay, let me see. Margarita wants to participate. Go ahead, Margarita. Um, one, follow a healthy diet. Um, don't drive at street uh, under the influence of alcohol. Um, under the influence of al alcohol. Alcohol. Uh -huh. Okay, continue, please. Um, don't know you use tobacco in any of its forms. Especially in public places, right? Thank you very much. Let's listen to Ana Garcia. Hello, Ana. Yes. Okay, go ahead, please, with the information you got. Even, even garden, gardening can be a good way to reduce stress or enfermedad, no sé cómo se dice. Sicknesses? Uh -huh. Um, do exercise. All right. Um, mountain social. And learn reflections. Reflection all day. Only. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, is there anybody else who wants to share pieces of advice? Well, otherwise, we don't know some an exercise, but we're gonna I will check list attendance and it will be over. Okay, we're gonna we're almost done with it with that class. 
Okay, no more participants. Okay, go, go ahead, please. Go ahead. Get in. No sé por la, la pronunciación de esa palabra es el dormir suficiente, ahora sí. Get yeah. El no sleep. Get enough sleep, ok. Eh, do exercise daily. daily do ¿verdad? exercise daily. Eat healthy. Oh. Eat healthy food. Comer sano. Yes. Um, drink water. Drink water. Eh, Excelente, pretty good. Excellent, excellent. I really like that. Now, in order to, to we're gonna try to finish now. You see, we're missing like seven minutes, and eh? we need to check the knowledge we have experienced tonight. I have some expressions, some verbs, right? So such as call, stay, don't go, don't drink, don't worry, don't eat, see or take. Now you're gonna use some of them here. If I say a dentist, what's the expression that's missing there? See, see a dentist. See a dentist. What about this? Too much. Don't drink. Don't drink. Oops, it's not cold, right? Swing. Don't drink too much. Number three. Take. Take, take two aspirin. Take. Take two aspirins. Number four. Hello, hello. Number four. Ah, no. No, no, no. No aparecen las opciones. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me a second, please. Ana Garcia wants to participate and also Silvia. Give me a second, please. No, you can see it, right? Example, to school? Yes. Mm, don't, don't go. go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go to school. In bed? Stay. Stay, Stay in bed. Stay. A doctor? Is. Here, doctor. Visit. Visit. Call the doctor. Coffee? Don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink don't coffee. coffee. And the last don't one, any eat. candy. Don't, don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't, don't eat, don't eat, don't eat. Candy. We're going to see the answer. And we're almost done with it. Now pay attention. The first uh, one teacher, is. Uh -huh. Teacher, in the second, the answer one is don't worry. Don't drink. Yes, I. Uh, okay, so here is don't worry. Yes. Don't worry. And look at over here. Call a dentist. Don't see a dentist, but call. Okay. Number two, take. Take two aspirins. Okay, that, that's number three, right? Number four, don't go to school. Number five, stay in bed. Number six, See a doctor. And the number seven, don't drink coffee. And the last one, don't, don't eat, eat any candy. Pretty good, excellent. So I think we've done a great job tonight. Vamos a hacer algo mientras yo atiendo la, la lista de asistencia. Ustedes trabajan en este ejercicio. En este ejercicio de la plataforma. Okay. Es el ejercicio de lectura del 2.11. Ok, ¿qué checklist tienes? Voy a dejar de compartir.
And let me know about you. Okay, once again, Abigail Elizabeth. I am here. Ana Maria. I'm here. Ana Maria Emily. Uh, perfect. Carlos David Santos. Daniel Alejandra Martinez. I'm, I'm here. here. Uh, Carlos is here. Carlos David. I'm here. Sorry. Diana Saray. I'm here, teacher. Good. Emma? Present. Eva? No, present. Gabriela? Hello, hello, Gabriela, Lizette. Jacqueline Janet. I'm here. Joana Guadalupe. Present. Um, Carla Olivia. Present. <clears throat> Melissa Giselle. Melissa Giselle, Raul Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Elizabeth. Present teacher. Rosa Hello. Feliciana. Present teacher. Roxana. Present. Ruth. Ruth Noemi. Present teacher. Zaira. ¿Cómo lo hago más pequeño? Present teacher. Sara Vanessa. No sé. Silvia Noemi. Present teacher. Stephanie Carolina. Swani. Present. Wilder. No, yo hablo en lo mío. William Vladimir. Present teacher. William Vladimir. Eh, William Alfredo. Present teacher. Jancy Stephanie. Present teacher. And Jenny Guadalupe. Present. Okay. So, hello. I am mm -hmm. Stephanie Carolina. Stephanie Present. Carolina. Yes. Okay, Stephanie Carolina. Yeah, I got it here. Javier Barrera, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, Sara Vanessa Arana. You. You're welcome. Sara Vanessa. And Gabriela Lisette. I think only those people. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to stop over here. Nos vamos a quedar por acá. Ha sido un placer enorme volverlos a encontrar. Los felicito porque este grupo es muy activo, participa mucho. En... Y están siempre atentos. Eh, por ahí alguien me pregunta, teacher, este, ¿por qué no nos detenemos y vemos algunas palabras en inglés, luego en español? Eh, bueno, siempre yo les voy, les voy a solicitar que tengan su diccionario ahí abiertito, o un traductor, o este, no sé, ustedes pueden tenerlo abierto por ahí. Cualquier duda respecto al vocabulario, lo pueden copiar, lo pegan, y ya pues lo estudiamos, lo, lo dejamos claro, ¿ok? En ese sentido, pues, vamos a tomar ventaja de acostumbrarnos a siempre eh, trabajar con un diccionario o con con un traductor para no detenernos a revisar como mmm, significado de palabras. De esa manera, vamos a aprovechar más el tiempo. No sé si hay alguna pregunta. Okay. Teacher. Hello, hello. Eh, mañana van a haber clases. Los días viernes no, no tenemos claro. clase. Nos vamos a encontrar hasta el día lunes. Okay. Por favor, este, les solicito que trabajen en las actividades de la plataforma porque 
eso me ayuda mucho. Cuando ustedes eh, cumplen con las actividades en su momento, pues ya no nos retrasamos para yo este, presentar su progreso. Acuérdense que todas las actividades que ustedes hacen quedan registradas espe especialmente en la plataforma. Entonces no podemos dejar de, de lado ningún ejercicio de la plataforma. Dayana. Teacher, eh, ¿podría compartir la presentación del vocabulario médico en el WhatsApp, si se puede, please? Ok, lo, lo voy a hacer. Lo voy a hacer, pero este, fíjese que ahorita si no tengo conectado a... a no, lo, no lo tengo enlazado acá, pero sí lo voy a hacer. Ok, thank you. Are you welcome. Ha sido un placer volverlos a encontrar. Bye. Espero verlos el día lunes. ¿Está bien? Bien. Okay. Good night. 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 See you on Monday. I'll see you. See you Monday. Good night. See you Monday. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. Good night. Thank you.